Hello and welcome to the Imagine Crafts YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I am going to make my own pattern paper. I'm using a stamp set by Pink and Meme. It's actually three individually sold um, stamps that are about five and a half or so by five and a half and they are meant to be used uh, in combination with each other though they can be used separately standalone as well. And the way that um, you use these is to actually, you can create your own plaid background. So that's what I'm doing today. I have chosen to stamp with Memento Dewdrop inks because it's a dye-based ink. And dye-based inks are water-based and they will soak into your papers. And as a result, they, they actually dry pretty fast. And that's a nice feature when you're doing um, a technique like this because I'm not looking necessarily right now anyways for the inks uh, to blend with each other. And it's helpful for, um, for it to be dry so that I don't have to wait and uh, have one layer dry or heat set it before stamping on the next. And when I do stamp uh, one on top of the other, it won't smudge um, what was stamped previously. So dye based inks are, are really great for, for techniques like these. Now, the first color I stamped down uh, with one of the set stamp sets is Teal Zeal. And then for the second stripey pattern, I used Love Letter. Now for the third one, the third and most bold line, I am stamping again with Love Letter. But I'm going to stamp over top of that with Teal Zeal and actually combine the two to create a third color, a third entirely different color. So I, I am being careful to wipe down and clean my uh, stamp in between uh, impressions because these are two totally different colors. So I don't want to cross contaminate the inks, but you can see I'm sort of going back between uh, the love letter and the teal zeal because with purples you can you can get purples that are a little bit more bluish and kind of a cool tone and then you can get purples that are a little bit more uh, warm and have a little bit more of that red and it might be a little hard to tell on camera but as you stamp one over the other it does it does change sort of that subtle tone of uh the third color that we're able to create so this is just a fun way to maybe uh get some different colors if you have a limited number of um colors in your uh collection whatever type of stamps you're using you might try to do some over stamping, that is to stamp multiple times in order to get different colors. And it can be kind of fun just to see different, what different um, colors, color combinations yield uh, in terms of variations. So lots of fun. And the nice thing about creating your own background and your own pattern paper is you can use those very same inks throughout the rest of your project. And in my case, I'm making a USA two size card. And here, what I've done is just smushed out some of that very same love letter uh, ink onto a silicone mat. And I'm using a water brush pen. So there is water in um, that tube, but I'm not trying to really water down the color too much, um, just enough to make it so that it's uh, paintable essentially. And I can color in my stamped image here. And that way she is going to match pretty well with, uh, or at least coordinate really well with the pattern paper that I just stamped out. So just something fun to do. And um, if you don't have things like a lot of alcohol markers or watercolor markers, you can always color with your um, with your ink pads. Just uh, smush them out and dye based inks in particular work really well for this technique because they are water based. So they are water soluble and that won't actually kind of change um, 
their color too much. And though you can, if you water it down a lot, you can get a more light color. And if you uh, don't use as much water, then you can get a very um, more intense color, more true to what the color would be if you stamped it out. This uh, strip here, I've actually just taken some of that teal zeal and I uh, swiped it across plain old white cardstock to create a strip of solid color cardstock that perfectly matches, again, the background that I stamped out. And then the last thing that I need to add to this is going to be a sentiment. So I'll go ahead and again, using teal zeal, stamp out my uh, sentiment. And so you can see by using the same two color ink pads for everything on this card from the background to the solid color cardstock to um, the medium that I use to color in my stamped image and even uh, finally the stamped sentiment, everything coordinates really well together. So if you don't have the perf like a wide selection of solid color cardstock, if you don't have a wide selection of markers and you can't get everything to match the way that you'd like, you can just use your ink pads and uh, get all of the components for your cards and everything then coordinates perfectly. So these inks are really, really versatile in that way because you can use them to uh, create with in so many different ways. The uh, image that I'm working with here is from the Greeting Farm and actually I colored her in with um, peanut brittle. <laughs> That's actually uh, the color of, again, memento dye ink that I used. And that was for her skin. And then I used a combination of toffee crunch and espresso, espresso truffle um, for her hair. So amazing to know that you can get some a pretty good skin tone um, from this particular set of dewdrop inks that I have. It's actually a set that is called Snow Cones, and there are 12 different colors in this set. So really fabulous, and you can see um, how cute she is and how her outfit really perfectly matches that plaid background that we stamped out. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope um, you check out the Memento Dewdrop inks because you can really get a lot of mileage out of these inks. Thanks so much and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!